What's happening in the Milton real estate market? Well, that is what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna to go over all of the numbers and I'm also gonna give you my tips and strategies whether you are buying or selling in this market. Without further ado, let's break it down. I'm Shalene Enriquez. I'm a local Milton real estate agent here in Milton with Remax Real Estate Center. Today, we're gonna to go over all the numbers that just came out for the Milton real estate market stats for June 2020. In June 2020, we saw the highest number of sales in a month to date. We were at 251 sales in Milton for the month of June. We've slowly been seeing an increase since March, when March 15th, everything sort of shut down due to COVID. And each month since then, things have just been starting to creep back up. So we're at 251 sales, which was a great number. It was actually higher than what we had sold in 2019 and significantly higher than May 2020, which was 131 sales. So buyers are out there, homes are selling. The price has also come up quite a bit. June 2020, we saw an average home price across all home types in Milton now at $833,527. So that's a dramatic increase as well from previous previous months, we are almost at the peak of where we were sort of before things shut down. And that was in March, 2020, where we were at $840,000 average price. So the numbers are definitely coming back up there. Our year to date average price is sitting at around $807,000. And that represents an almost 8% increase over prices in 2019. So despite everything that's going on, prices are up over last year. Now, what type of property has seen the most gain. The largest increase that we've seen has been in condo townhomes with an almost 17% increase over prices in 2019. That's a significant jump. So if you are in a condo townhome right now and you're thinking about selling, now could be a great opportunity for you to maybe sell, release some of that equity and get into a freehold property because condo townhome sales are way up there. Year to date in Milton, home sales are down at 20% over what we would have seen at this time last year in 2019 in terms of the volume and number of sales. We're also down in inventory, about 27%. So the amount of new listings in 2019 this time versus what we're seeing in 2020 is down about 27%. So I do believe that part of the reason we're seeing a lot of bidding wars right now on some of the well-priced, well-presented properties has to do with the fact that there's just less inventory out there. So a lot of pent-up demand for people that had sort of put their home buying plans on hold and not a lot of inventory that's come on, that's definitely fueling some of the prices that you're seeing lately. The average sale price to list price ratio and what this number represents is the amount that a buyer was able to negotiate off of the price of the home, of the listing price of the home. So across all home types, it's sitting at about 99% for June, 2020. That's on all home types. The homes that you've seen less negotiating power on have definitely been condo town homes and townhomes, those are sitting at 101% of asking price. So that means that buyers are paying about 1% over the asking price that you will see on average. So definitely, if we're talking about tips going forward in this market, right now it's July 15th. And what I've seen is that there doesn't look like anything is slowing down. Typically July would be a little bit slower for us, but because with everything with COVID, it's like almost like our spring market has shifted and we are dealing with a really busy, busy market right now here in July. So my number one tip if you are buying a home in this market is be prepared. If you do not have a pre-approval in place, I would not go out there and start looking at homes if I were in your shoes. You're very likely, especially in some of the townhomes or condo townhomes as we just went over, to be faced with multiple offers. So if you uh, don't have that pre-approval in place, you may find yourself very disappointed when it comes down to offer night. If you are selling in this market, my tip for you is really do not get caught leaving money on the table. We are in a very strong seller's market, but that doesn't mean you can put your cards down. You still need to present your home in the best possible light. So staging your home and the marketing, how it's presented, it can make the difference between you know how much money you're gonna walk away with at the end of the day. I recently just sold a home here in Milton in the Scott neighborhood, and we had an almost $40,000 difference from the sale of the last model of that same property. So you really just want 
wanna keep that in mind, who you're interviewing and how your agent is gonna market the property. Are they taking professional photos? You wanna make sure you do a lot online right now and that everything that's done online is done really well because that is where home buyers start. Looking at homes is online, so you should have those 360 walkthroughs, you should have video, all of those things. You definitely wanna have a very strong online presence right now in this market. Thank you so much for watching. Now, if you have questions about buying or selling a home in Milton and I haven't answered your questions or given you the answers you were looking for in today's video, you can always email me my email address. I'll make sure that it is below here and I'm happy to answer any questions that you may have. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.